Hello, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to GQ Spiritual Guide. This is going to be a love reading for you, um, for the collective. I am clean cleansing the energy here right now. We have some Palo Santo, um, just welcoming a peaceful environment. Sometimes we don't know what energies are going to come forth through these cards. And so, you know, I like to create a very beautiful energy to conduct these readings to facilitate for you all okay so if you can feel it you can take the time and just take it all in take in the love i'm giving you know receive all the positivity i i'm putting out there to you guys and just um, allow me to be of service open your hearts open your mind be open-minded and um, we're going to get into it. This is going to be in-depth reading, okay? So put your seatbelts on. <laughs> or grab you a glass of wine. I don't know. Get comfortable. Uh, this will be in-depth, in-depth. And I allow myself for these types of readings because, you know, with YouTube having algorithms and all that, sometimes longer videos are not warranted. Like, they don't hit the algorithm as much um only maybe for a select few there's a group of people who that works for but i want to give it to you i want to give this to you those of you who watch these videos and um yeah make it a little longer all right no no uh restrictions on time although i'm i'm going to try to keep it at least an hour no i won't go over an hour it's easy to really go and spend hours on these readings. I've done it before. Okay. Anyway, let's get into your reading. All right. Oh, at the bottom of the deck, you have the Ace of Cups. So this could be about new love. And new love doesn't mean someone I just met. This could mean starting over beginning something okay and it could be like a reconciliation in a way um you know your emotions this is a very emotional card a very emotionally satisfying card all right and um i don't know i've always paid attention to the moon phases here um so it could just represent different phases of love and emotion right that new love re reconnecting to someone starting something could bring about all right so what's up in love for you darling we have the empress taurus libra we have the temperance <laughs> empress temperance and the six of cups wow so this could be about a past person and maybe you guys are re reconnecting if not, this could be like a friend, a friends with benefits. Six of Cups gives me friends with benefits for some reason. It just does. Um, and maybe you guys are starting something new. You could be a Taurus. You could be this Empress. And it isn't always like a mother figure. It can be. Or a spouse. But sometimes some of you are just so beautiful. You just take on this Empress energy where you're just very caring and nurturing and, you know, just full of abundance, abundance of love, abundance of um, advice, abundance of, you know, laughter. It could be all of that. But here's a temperance, very balanced, very, I love the temperance energy. It's very healing. It feels very good. And so does the Six of Cups. So let's clarify. And I will base the questions off of what this is. This is the most important thing happening. So I will base the questions off of what I see here, Okay. And the possible questions I could ask is, how does this person feel? How do they want to move forward? How do they want to resolve it? Well, what happened in the past? And, you know, what is this person's intentions? It just depends on how the cards fall. All right, y'all, let's get into it. Clarify the Empress, please. Clarify the Empress, please. Okay, so we have King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Dealing with a fire sign, perhaps, is your this past person a fire sign? 
or this could be a completely different person. We'll find out why the King of Wands. Six of Swords. Um, someone is indecisive, I feel. Like they can't make a decision. They can't come to a conclusion with maybe when it comes to you. Um, what's the energy of the Empress? Uh-oh, that was not in reverse. <laughs> the hanged man. Yeah. Oh, so this person that you're involved with, they have some worries or concerns when it comes to you. Perhaps they're trying to improve something with you. Maybe improve the relationship. There's something here they're trying to do better, but they, they aren't the most optimistic person, okay? Um... They're having a hard time deciding. And it could be because they're still trying to figure it out with the hanged man. I feel like this is maybe either their feelings for you or the relationship alone. Okay, let's see. Clarify the temperance. Clarify the temperance. Oh, my God. So there's the knight of pentacles. So I'm getting a very slow moving energy. The temperance is not fast it's more doing things in moderation but when it when the knight of pentacles clarifies it i feel like there is a a slow moving energy maybe to bring things into balance why the knight of pentacles oh the seven of swords mm, hmm. give me a second what is the energy of the temperance so we have the seven of wands in the reverse. This is someone who's giving up. Like someone's not willing to fight for what they believe in anymore. It's like, I quit. <laughs> okay. And perhaps they are planning an escape here with the seven of swords. They're trying to get out of something or they're trying to get away with something. Oh, the three of cups. That was flipped over. third party energy. So if they if they're dealing with someone else, if you're dealing with multiple people or they are someone is no longer entertaining that or fighting for it or you know, it's like I feel like they're trying to escape it. Or maybe they're trying to get away with this information. Let's see. Uh what's the energy of the 7 of swords? What is the energy of the seven of swords? The strength of the reverse? Uh, yeah. So this person, oh, there's like, oh, I don't know. They could have been unfaithful. This person could have been unfaithful here. But why the strength in reverse? Wow, hold on. Why is the strength card in reverse? Whoa, it's a lot of cards. Eight of wands in the reverse. Knight of wands in the reverse. Wow, okay, these all came out in the reverse. Eight of wands. Knight of wands. Um, so you guys could have had some communication issues, not really talking, not really... Um, yeah, the communication was very slow. And I feel like someone could have been just, I don't know if this is like coming out of, like the Knight of Wands in reverse means it wasn't, things were not happening the way you wanted it to, you wanted it to, or they wanted it to. And I think it's because there's some third party energy. There's some infidelity, I feel. And this could have been with someone's baby mama, I don't know. I just, rem I just remember seeing the Empress where it says she doesn't always have to be a mother figure, but uh, sometimes, yeah, she could be. Knight of Wands reverse. Four of Swords reverse. Hmm. Yeah, this if someone was taking a break, 
It's like they're not taking a break anymore. If they pulled away, they're not doing that anymore. And I think it's because they gave up on this third party, whoever this third party is. Um, Let's see. Clarify that Six of Cups. That's a past person, an ex. Clarify the Six of Cups. So we have the High Priestess in the reverse. Six of Pentacles. Page of Wands. Yeah, it's almost like someone did not know the other person was giving their energy to someone else. And I, I see that, right? I could I see the, the sneakiness or trying to get away with something, trying to get out of something, maybe not wanting the other person to know. I can see like infidelity. And maybe they want to heal the situation. I feel like maybe even somewhere there was misunderstanding. Like someone doesn't have all the details. They didn't get it all right. And this page of wands is trying to figure it out. What is the energy of the six of cups? The chariot. Moving on, moving forward. I feel like someone could be... A little bit in the dark. Like they don't have all the information. What's the energy of the high priestess reverse? What is the energy of the high priestess reverse? The world. Well, it's like if you didn't know, if someone didn't know, now they will know the page of wands is going to figure it out um okay wow this is interesting someone is moving on but they it's almost like they don't have all the information Things did not go as planned. Like, you guys pulled away from each other. People were taking breaks. Here's the energy of not trying, not wanting to fight for it. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Well, what what's the obstacle here? What is the actual problem? Because that was the most important thing happening. What's the obstacle here for my viewers? The Nine of Wands. So this came out already, <laughs> uh, that first spread. Someone is just very concerned and they worry. They don't think, they're not, think, they think the worst of this situation. Why the Nine of Wands? Yeah, are you in a long-term relationship? Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, why the ten of why the ten of pentacles? The lover. So this is definitely about a long-term relationship, and I feel like it's with somebody that you love. But the issue is someone, I don't know, it feels like don't they're not trusting. This situation, what's the energy of the Nine of Wands? Yeah. Like they worry about, I feel like this could be a reconciliation. And it's like we never knew, we never really figured out what happened in the past. We never knew what went down. Because the High Priestess in Reverse was like someone who doesn't really have a clear understanding. Like this is like ignorance almost. Okay, someone who's not in the loop. And so it's like, okay, I'm getting, this could be reconciling. This could be getting back together. But I don't think you felt that way at first. I feel like you were like, no, I'm good. I, I, I'm, I'm giving up. You may have considered reconciling, giving your energy to this person, 
coming back around. But you have concerns, though. You're, you're not, like, walking in completely, like, optimistic. What is the energy of the Ten of Pentacles? And I think that's the issue. Expressing your feelings... Be like having a heart to heart because you have the eight of wands in reverse. Like you're not really saying a whole lot. What is the energy of the lovers? Whoa. There's the fool. Okay. So you're not taking this leap forward to this relationship because of what happened in the past. Because this person hurt you. Right? And I feel like either maybe they didn't confess. Maybe they didn't tell you the truth. They didn't give you enough information for you to go in feeling secure. Right? Does that make sense? That's what it feels like. Here you are, like worrying about giving your energy and reuniting, giving this person a second chance because they did hurt you. Why the Page of Cups? Why the Page of Cups? Oh, the Knight of Cups. Making an offer. Telling someone how you feel, what you want. It's almost like you want to be with this person, but I don't know. You you're not you're not you're not very secure here. You're not you're not okay with taking such a leap of faith. Cuz I think you just don't know. Right? It's like I just I don't know like if you were lying to me or if you did what you said you were going to do. Okay, well let's see how do how do they feel? Like what do they how do they want to move? How do they want to resolve this? How does my viewers love interests want to resolve this? How does my viewers love interests want to resolve this? Oh no, the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords. Well, let's see. Let's clarify because they definitely want to put an end to something. It, if you guys are separated, then they, they could want that to end. But let's see. All right, clarify the Ten of Swords. The High Pre. Yeah. Oh, you guys. I know I, I, I'm such a sucker for stuff like this, um, even though I don't know the person, right? You might be like, no, they're they're horrible people. But to me, I'm just going by the energy. Like, it's genuine. This is how they really feel. They don't want you guys to not be talking. You know, if you aren't talking to them, if you walked away from them, they don't want that. They want you to come back. They want you to give them another chance. What is it? What is the energy of the Ten of Swords? The lovers, the lovers, they love you. They do. They don't want to be separate and apart from you anymore. What is the energy of the high priestess? The seven of cups. They fantasize, they wishful think all the time. Just know that much. They think about you. They fantasize about you. What is the energy of the eight of cups? temperance like I feel like they want to heal this situation okay they don't want you they want you back I mean you know like I'm with the temperance is like bringing a balance back into this relationship I feel like they think they can heal it they can fix it so what okay what do you need from them let's ask that question <clears throat> All right, what does my viewer need from their love interest? What do they want from them? What do they need from their from their love interest? What does my viewer need from their love interest? The high priestess of oh, the will of fortune. The high priestess and the will of fort. I mean, this could be they want you to use your wisdom. They want you to make smart moves. Um, let 
Mm. Yeah, they want things to, to move in a positive direction. I mean, you, this is you. I asked, what do you, what do you need? Uh, let's see, clarify this, clarify this high priestess, please. The devil. So all of this unhealthiness, all of this toxicity or drama or, you know, destructiveness, I, I want, you want them to think, be smart, okay? Make wise decisions. Because I do feel like there's some shenanigans here, right? What is the energy of the high priestess? The six of wands. Because you, if you got back together with them, you want this to be a victory. You want you guys to be successful. And you can't be su successful if this person is making bad choices. They're not being smart. You know, they're not using their intuition. Like, what is your gut saying? Is your gut saying this is not healthy? Or is it saying, yeah, go for that unhealthy thing? Like, what is your gut telling you? Because I feel like, I feel like you consider this relationship, but you're not there yet. You're not there yet. Uh, clarify this will of fortune. You, you want, you want you guys to win. You want, you know, positive change forward, good change, new opportunities. You know, you want things to work in your favor. What is the, please clarify this will of fortune. King of Wands. And I feel like you're not backing down. Like this is what you want. And you're not yielding to anything less than that. And that's fine. Why the King of Wands reverse? There's that Six of Wands again. Because I want to win. Because I want us to be the best. I want us to succeed. And we can't succeed with you and your destructive patterns. With you not making good choices. And you making this relationship difficult. What is the energy of the Will of Fortune? The Page of Swords, the Seven of Wands. I feel like you want them to be honest and you want them to fight for the relationship, to fight for you. If fighting for you means I'm not bringing third parties in here. Fighting for you means I'm going to protect you. This Seven of Wands gives me protective energy. You want them to shield you, take care of your heart, right? And stop ruining everything. Stop bringing all this devil energy into it. Why the devil card? Put this over here. The Ten of Cups. Of course you want this. Of course this is what you need. I need us to be happier than we were. I do have a rule for you guys. I have a rule for you guys. Because nothing's going to ever be perfect in relationships, right? And I see what you want. Um... But if this could help anybody, I use this 80-20 rule I got from Shan Booty, Shan Boudram, Shannon Boudram. She's here on YouTube. Um, you can find her on Instagram as well. And she is a relationship expert. Um, and she gave me a light bulb moment where she uses 80-20 rule in relationships. 80% of the time, we should be happy. We should be playing and laughing and in flow and you know, mutuality and just getting along, right? And leave the 20% for all this other junk, right? Our disagreements, where we're angry at each other, uh, where we can't get along, we can't figure it out. Like leave that for 20. If it goes beyond 20%, then there's a problem, right? But we have to allow ourselves to have that. But I think it's a fair game. It, it, it creates a healthier relationship. 80-20 rule. 80-20 rule, you guys. 80% of the time, we're in the Ten of Cups. 20% of the time, uh, we can allow for this devil energy to, you know. But it's not ruling over our relationship. It's not making the relationship difficult and where we're struggling. Um, so what happened in the past? Let's get some past energy. Okay, what what is the past energy? What happened in the past for my viewers uh, with this situation? Wow, okay. 
Queen of Pentacles. So there's a Earth sign, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or some type of business person. It doesn't have to be an Earth sign, but yeah, I'm going to read it as an Earth sign. So uh, why, what about this Earth sign? Why the Queen of Pentacles? Or this could be you. We'll find out. I don't know. Just take it how it resonates because it's hard for me to know. Um, why is this Queen of Pentacles here? Okay, the Hanged Man. This could be you. Something's telling me this is you. In the past... Um, something came to you, right? Why the Hanged Man? Something came to you... And it was like a new, a, a new idea, a new thought came to you, and you kind of sat with it with the hanging man. You tried to figure it out, right? So what happened? Why the page of pentacles? Why the page of pentacles? So, okay, so in the past, the, the idea of leaving, the idea of having something more at peace came to you. Um, and I think you entertain this idea. What is the energy of the Queen of Pentacles? Oh, yeah. But you had a hard time making this decision. The, de the death card fell out. Uh, the Two of Swords, you, you, you were having a hard time making this decision. Actually, you might have even been avoiding it. Like trying to do whatever you could so that you did not have to leave. Um, but I don't think that, I don't think that's what happened. I think you ended up leaving the death card. I'm just going to put it out there. I feel like spirit is telling me to put it out there because it sure did pop out in a, <laughs> um, and I, I think you said I could be at peace. Like I could be happy if I leave, like there's no peace here. But you were having a hard time making this decision. What is the energy of the hanged man? Yeah, there you're, you Oh my God. Love, my loves. You stay in this nine of wands. This relationship has not given you, has not contributed to your optimism. It has not inspired you. It has not made you feel like you're winning, like... So I understand this idea of, I need to be at peace. I need to go to a place. I need to move in another direction. What is the energy of the Page of Pentacles? What is the energy of the Page of Pentacles? The Emperor. And perhaps you discussed this with this person. Because a page is communicators, right? Pages are communicators. And Page of Pentacles tells me you had a message about this solid new beginning that you have this idea, like this idea came to you. What is the energy of the Six of Swords? And I feel like you could have brought this to this person's attention, your love interest. What is the energy of the Six of Swords? Um, probably the, like the Knight of Wands. Look, the Knight of Wands wanted to come out and I feel like you did leave. I think you packed your bags and hopped on your your horse and you said I'm out and I don't think you gave it like a lot of in-depth thought I don't think you had like even a long drawn out conversation with this person not not with the page of pentacles you didn't what is the energy of the six of swords okay the five of swords um I think you felt like there's something else I can do like what else am I supposed to do this, I'm not happy. Like, me staying here is not it. I don't want to leave. But it's almost like this person is giving you not a lot of good options. Um, so, okay. Um, so how do you... How does this person feel right now? 
let's see what their state of mind is okay how does how is my viewers love interest feeling about them in this connection uh currently the three of cups okay yeah of course they feel stuck i i kind of assume this much but they want to reconcile I, I think we knew that right we saw that in the cards already they want to get back together with you and you're just i don't know you're in that nine of wands energy um clarify the three of cups the devil. listen they oh my god they are obsessed with this like they feel very eager in wanting to just talk to you they're hurt they're hurt behind this uh clarify this eight of swords the ten they are they yeah see what they want is what this is what they want this is what they want the ten of cups do they want this with you why the ten of cups Why the Ten of Cups? Uh-oh. There we go. Ace of Pentacles. All right. This is what they want. This is how they feel. They want to reconcile. They do feel stuck, like as if they don't know if this is going to happen. Okay. And it could be the ball is not in their court. Right? So they, they can't make a move until you make a move. And maybe they could reach out, but it's like ultimately the ball is still in your court. So, I mean, are they hiding something from you? Let's see. I mean, if they want to come back, if you're even remotely considering it, uh, we should see if they're hiding something. Uh -oh. This is almost like personal readings. I do this style in personal readings. Especially if someone pays for one hour long. Um, I don't do personal readings right now, but I will. It's forthcoming. Um, this is the kind of the style I use where I just kind of, you know, you give me a bunch of questions and I just ask whatever you want. Um, so what is my viewers love interest hiding from them? Oh, the 10 of wands. So you don't know how badly they're hurting. They may not be showing this. I don't know if you guys have seen each other or been in contact um, some of you have, some of you have had like very minimal, uh, communication, but they did not let you see this. And the 10 of wands does not have to be a negative emotion. It can be where they feel guilty and they feel sad and hurt and angry. Um, they feel regret, right? Th those are the 10 of wands can come out when that emotion is present. Uh, but this could also be like, I love you. I want to be with you. Um, and they are carrying carrying this burden of wanting this because it's not being resolved. So they carry it with them. Uh, clarify this Ten of Wands. So what are they hiding? They're working on what? Oh. Oh. So this is not like a secret. They just They just haven't told you. They haven't shared with you what they were doing. They are trying to do the right thing. They're working on doing, being fair, bringing balance to this relationship. Again, I saw that if they were dealing with third party, that's over. They're not dealing with that third party anymore. Okay. And to me, with the justice coming out, them putting in the work, like we cannot underestimate this eight of pentacles. This is hard work. This is putting in a lot of effort, trying to fix things, trying to repair things. If this is any consolation to any of you, any of you listening and resonating with this, this is what they're doing. They're not saying it, but this is what they're doing. Why the justice? Okay, five of pentacles. Um, what are they high? I think they're, they're definitely not showing you how much this is burning, how hurt they are how alone they feel what is the energy of the ten of wands the moon deep emotion you guys 
They're keeping this a secret. King of, the King of Pentacles, but I feel like they're trying to be a person you can depend on. A person you trust. Okay? Reliable. Trying to stay optimistic in all of this defeat that they feel. Okay? But the one thing about the King of Pentacles is there he's optimistic. And I feel like your person doing this, they believe you guys can work out and you guys can fix it. So how do we resolve this? What is Spirit saying? How do we resolve? How does my viewer and their love interest, how do they resolve this issue? How do they resolve this? Okay, there's something, there is an, something has to end. Let's see, Ten of Swords. There is something that has to be, something that has to end. Let's see, um, clarify this Ten of Swords. The Temperance. Hmm. Um, why the temperance? Five of wands, the conflict, the arguing, the competition, whatever, however that resonates with it for you. But you guys are doing it in moderation. This is not like, this is not like full blown out arguments. Maybe it's like a little bit tit for tat kind of. What's the energy of the temperance? Oh, healing. Healing, releasing the negativity. That's what I'm saying. So you guys aren't arguing as much. <clears throat> my For my viewers, I mean, this is probably more geared toward you. Because I feel like your person has is working on letting go. I think this is more like, hey, you don't have to, but if we want to resolve this, a lot of the issues of the past will have to be released. You have to let it go. You cannot hold on to it. You really have to go through the, and the temperance is here because there's a healing process you'd have to go through, okay? Like I wouldn't even advise you to go back to this person until you're able to heal and then forgive. And I always say forgiveness does not come first. I mean, that you can disagree with me if you want. People have disagreed with me. But I find when you heal your heart, your pain, that forgiveness automatically comes. You automatically, I'm not mad at that person. I can hear their name and not go into rage. I can see them and give them a hug. I wish them the best. That is true healing. If you're not wishing people the best, if you are hoping they suffer then that's not a healed heart that is a heart that is in pain all right give me the energy of this ten of swords the ace of swords and maybe this is more about your person too because i felt like you didn't have all the information about a, a betrayal maybe they need to come out and say it they need to come out and tell you the truth Cut through the crap, cut through the BS. Um, and maybe, I don't know if you've asked already, if you've, you know, inquired about what really happened. What's the truth? Because I feel like if you're going to heal from something, you might as well heal from everything. Don't, I don't want them to present something to you when you're feeling better. You know what I mean? When you're like in a good place emotionally and they have like this new information. You know, like no one wants to have to start over. What's the energy of the five of wands? Yeah, here's the, here's this, the, like there's hostility. I couldn't figure that, that word could not, I could not come up with that word when I saw the five of wands. Like there's, you guys are hostile. <laughs> you may not, and hostility could be very quiet, you know, but there's tension. There's like an elephant in the room, okay? 
and I think it needs to be addressed. So how do you resolve this situation? That elephant in the room needs to be addressed. And it has to be the whole truth, okay? Your partner needs to just come with it. They need to come with the whole entire truth. And then you have to heal so that you can release, you know, the negativity. You can release those, like the pain. Whatever you're holding on to, whatever's holding on to you can like pop off. Healing does that. It allows for things to like pop off. Some of you, the the hangman just flew out. Um, maybe even like surrender to love. Okay? That's if you want this. Um, yeah. Let me guess. Tell us more about this four of pentacles in the reverse. Two of cups. I'm telling you guys. I'm telling you, when you let that go, when you heal, I feel like you guys could make it work, but that you would have to want to, okay? Um, you would definitely have to want to. Why the Ace of Swords? Because <sighs> I feel like you're, a lot of your worry is, I don't even know what happened. I don't even know much of anything. And I feel like the truth will set you free. The truth will get you out of your head right your person needs to offer you this so if you talk to them if you're feeling like maybe we could but we need to have a conversation first you need to let them know i need i need to know everything let's go in with all of our cards on the table let's go in not having any secrets okay even if you even if this person thinks it'll hurt so it i feel like healing you should heal from everything not just what they want you to know you know what I'm saying? Because the truth can always come about later on. It's like, wow, you didn't tell me that part. If you guys watch The Bachelor, <laughs> if you guys watch The Bachelor, um, that was kind of a thing with them. It's like Clayton, who's the main, you know, he's The Bachelor. He did not tell the other two remaining young ladies that he was all the way in love with Susie. Um, you know, he, like he had one girl who he loved the most that was that's how he said it he loved the most but he didn't say that but he said i'm being transparent but he was not being all the way transparent your person has to tell you everything or a lot i don't know if you want to know everything sometimes it's like i just rather not know that but i do want to know these things and let them know what you what is it that you want to know um okay so I feel like I want to ask about um, like any warnings, okay? Is there something my viewers should be forewarned when it comes to this relationship? What warnings do you have when it comes to other people, when it comes to their love interests? What warnings do you have? For my viewer. The Nine of Pentacles. The High Priestess. Huh. So maybe there's a single person somewhere in the in the vicinity, in the energy. A Taurus. Maybe. Uh, clarify this nine of pentacles this is like a warning <sighs> okay why the king of cups somebody's in love there could maybe this there's another person who is connected to your love interest and maybe they're in love with them what is the Clarify this high priestess. Yeah, nobody, I don't think anyone knows this though. Why the Eight of Swords? Why the Eight of Swords?
Knight of Pentacles reverse with the Six of Cups. Yeah, okay. I, I feel like there's someone else who may love your person. Um, but they're not putting in any effort toward them, right? They're, they're just in there. They just have these, these emotions, okay? Yeah, they're not, they're not trying anything with them. What is the energy of the high priestess? I mean, they're spying. They are spying on them, but, um, for the most part, their feelings, their thoughts are being kept to themselves. This person may be even moving on in their life. Clarify, what is the energy of this Nine of Pentacles? The world. Yeah, I feel like it's over, okay? There's a person, they're single, they're off doing their thing. They do still love your person, okay? But I don't see them making any moves toward them. I feel like they're off doing their own thing. Like that cycle is over. They just have some residual feelings and emotions. Um, why is this a warning? Why is this a warning? Because they spy on them. Oh, the seven of pentacles. This person could be waiting for them to come back around you know waiting for them to come back around but i feel like they've moved on to other opportunities i mean you can do both right it's like they're waiting somewhere in the back of their mind like they're waiting for them but i don't see them putting an effort to get to them so just know someone loves your person and they feel like there's nothing they can really do here. But they do love this person, your person for sure. Yeah, somebody does. Okay. Um, what other messages before we get to the last two questions? What other messages do you have for my viewers here? That hour went by so fast. Wow. Nine of Cups. Four of Wands. I feel like you guys could be happy. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll know for sure if you can when I get, the, get to the advice. We cannot underestimate the advice. But I feel like you guys can make it happen. Listen, look, 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 look. The bottom of this deck. Uh-oh. Sorry. Hold on. Oh, I kicked uh, the tripod. I got excited. Look, the three of pentacles is at the bottom of this deck. And so it's here at the bottom of that deck. When I say you guys could be happy, you guys could be happy. It's going to take effort though. It's going to take a team work, a collaborative thing, right? But look at this, nine of cups. Your wishes can come true here. We have the four of wands, just like a beautiful, solid relationship. I did, I don't see your person doing anything. It may be hard to get over the past when they were on some BS, but I don't see that in the current energy, okay? And we're going to get the outcome, the potential outcome, right? But I feel like you guys could be happy straight up. It's just going to take some work. This is not going to be a walk in the park, okay? There's going to be have to be healing. You need to, you know, some time. Take your time. All right, so what is the potential outcome here for my viewer? What is going to happen? What is the potential outcome? Remember, energy is fluid. Oh, I think your person is going to come toward you and make you a, le a very lovely offer. Okay, there is an offer on the table. Forthcoming. And it's going to excite you. You're going to be like, okay, I like that offer. You know? Uh, clarify this Knight of Cups. So the Page of Pentacles tried to come out in the reverse. It didn't come out. It just kind of landed in my hand like that. I always consider those. Um, 
but someone, either you or them, don't get in your own way, okay? I don't know. I felt like that page of pentacles in reverse gave me that. Why the Knight of Cups? Why the Knight of Cups? Okay. The Page of Wands. So you guys could have a conversation, right? This person's going to make an offer to you. I feel like them to you. I don't think you're going to make them an offer. Um, you could. You could say, hey, this is what I'm willing to give you. Um, but I do like the Page of Wands. I feel like you guys are going to explore your options with this relationship. Explore, you know, how you guys want to approach it. Again, when I get the Page of Wands, I feel like he has questions. That's you. This is your moment to ask the questions. Why the Page of Wands? Yeah. Two of Cups. This is like um, in the reverse. This is why do what could we have done better? How do we fix this relationship? What did you learn from this? Because if you didn't learn anything, if they didn't learn anything, that's going to be a, an issue. You have to get the lesson or else you'll just repeat it, right? They'll just repeat their mistakes, their behaviors if they if they did not learn the lesson. But this is having that conversation about the disconnect. Where did we go wrong? You know, even if you're innocent in this, it's like, could I have done something differently? Don't be too prideful. Don't have too much ego to say, could I have done something different? Even though I'm completely like not responsible for this. <laughs> um, sometimes in retrospect, we see, okay, Maybe I wasn't giving them enough attention. Maybe I was too boggled down with my work or the children or, you know, I wasn't giving them, you know, it, it's okay. Like most people, that's why they go out and seek attention from other people is because their spouse is not giving them enough attention. And, 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 and that is another thing. You can also say, implement that. Be like, you know, I kind of need your attention right now. Can you just give me like 30 minutes of just me and you? Um, I saw that as a meme on Instagram. And I feel like if couples did that, I think a lot of infidelity or feeling neglected or, you know, feeling insecure would not even be a thing, right? Why the two of cups reverse? There's a three of pentacles again. I think you guys are going to make this work. I feel like you're going to put the effort in. I, I know you were apprehensive, but I feel like you, my viewer, will will put the work in. You'll you'll give it a try. Okay. What is the energy of the Knight of Cups? What is the energy of the Knight of Cups? Oh, the King of Swords. So, I don't know. I think this is your person. I feel like this is them making you an offer. I don't know why I'm getting Clayton from The Bachelor. Because <laughs> um, I, I feel like the energy feels the same. It feels like Clayton, how he was just like begging Susie, like, you know, please. Like, I, I feel like we can make it work. I, yeah, I get that from your person. You, if you haven't watched it, it's on Hulu. You could probably find it on YouTube somewhere when he was begging Susie to come back. So Clayton was begging Susie to come back. Maybe if I find a clip, I'll put it in the description or something. Just so you can get an idea of what I feel like your person will be doing to you if they haven't already been doing it. So, um... I feel like you guys will come together and you will be able to ask the questions, okay? Why why did this disconnect even happen? Like, where did we go wrong, right? Collaborative. Collaborative. I like it. It's, it feels really good, you guys. The energy here feels good. Your person's energy feels good. But again, let's see what the advice is. Oh, Nida, look. Oh, you can't see it, but look, this just fell out the deck. The Knight of Cups very romantic i feel like something's going to be presented to you that is going to excite you okay it's going to stimulate your your heart chakra okay it's going to pull at your little heart strings but let's get your advice let's see 
All right. What advice do you have for my viewers, please? What advice do you have? Oh, so here's the moon. Oh, no. There's a warning. The moons are often warnings. Okay, we have to clarify it because it does talk about, you know, th like things could be deceptive. I always tell people, wait until the advice, because as great as all of that whole reading may have sounded, um, you know, the advice tells you the you know, I don't know, the more sh the shadow side of the reading, okay? I just feel like with this moon, like, just be cautious and aware. Don't let your guard all the way down. I think you need to hear this person out first. You need to see what they are coming with. If there are red flags, if something doesn't feel right, like, you know, pay attention to it. I think that's why the moon is here. Um, yeah, don't, don't project your, your fantasies. Okay. Just stay on guard. Let's see. And it, it, it could be on a spectrum. Like it could be like, not that dramatic, but it could be very extreme. Whatever that warning is, right? It could be, oh, well, your love interest is, you know, still very prideful. Like about what, you know? Or it could be like, oh my God, they're still dealing with someone else. That's more of an extreme version, but that's why we have to clarify. All right. Clarify the moon, please. Clarify the moon. Okay. Oh. The Nine of Pentacles reverse. Three of Cups reverse. Whoa, the magician in the reverse. All right, so I don't know why this came out so dramatic. <laughs> I mean, it could be a big deal to you, right? But your person does not have a lot of confidence, okay? They lack a lot of self-esteem. Um, and I, I feel like they may... Like their stability may not be up to par, you know? And that, I don't know what that means. That could mean maybe they live with someone else. Like they don't have their own money. Some of them may not have work, um, but it's it's killing their self-esteem. So the fact that they want to come back to you and they have all this confidence that it can work, um, I commend them because I don't even know where that came from. If, if other parts of their life seems to not be all that spectacular, you know? <sighs> I mean, some of them could have addictions. I do get that. I'm gonna clarify these. We're gonna go over a little bit over an hour, but that's fine. What is the energy of the moon? Okay, I mean, some of you can handle that. Some of you may not even want to deal with that. Maybe that's why it's coming out as a warning. Uh, Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands. Who is that? Why the Queen of Wands? Maybe that's that same person. They weren't trying, but they they love your person. Somebody, like, I feel like they're in love. Uh, all right, What's the energy of the Nine of Pentacles reverse? Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, Page of Cups reverse. Your person is very insecure, you guys. They they have, they're so insecure. Oh my god. I didn't expect this. I have all these cards that talks about how insecure they are. And how they lack self-confidence. What is the energy of the Three of Cups reverse?
Now, if they have some sort of addictions or something they just indulge in, like if they are drinkers or smokers or partiers, they may not give that up all the way. Like there's there may be this in and out thing, right? And I think that's why the, like, it, it, it would take effort. The three of pentacles came up several times, which means it's going to take effort here. Um, What's the energy of the magician reverse? Like they don't use... This person does not use what they have. Why the magician in reverse? Like if they are intelligent, like they don't use their intelligence. Four of pentacles. They hold themselves back. Like I don't get a person. I'm surprised they want to come to you. Like seriously, they felt like they could fix it and they wanted to do better but i do get this in and out energy with whatever they indulge in like sometimes they won't but sometimes they will why the knight of wands oh yeah they don't have the balance you guys like they're not a balanced person like they they need healing themselves Okay, and I think this is, you're wanting, tell me more about this Queen of Wands and this King of Cups. Tell me more, what is that, what is that about? Um, why the Six of Pentacles? You know what it feels like? It feels like someone who has another person kind of waiting in the wings. Like they're not really, there's some sort of exchange of energy, right? They could talk to them on the phone. They could text them. Um, they could interact with them on social media. But they have this person there because they don't know if your relationship will work out. If that that makes sense, right? It's like, well, I'm not going to completely shut off this other person or whatever. I don't feel them giving a lot of energy, though. I, they could just be giving them enough to keep them around. It's because they don't know how things are going to go with you guys. Why the Four of Pentacles? Why the Four of Pentacles? Stress, worry. Why why are they stressed and worried? About the ace of wands. I feel like they want to do so much for you. Why do I feel like this person just doesn't have a lot to offer but their love? Right? I have feelings for you. That's all I can offer you. But they do keep a little bit of a window cracked open with this person. I guess they want to see what happens with the both of you first, you know, before they completely just close it off. What is their intent intentions with this person, this queen of wands? Yeah, the seven of pentacles. I told you they're waiting to see what you say. They're waiting to see what happens with your relationship. So, I mean, you've been forewarned. You've been warned. Um, all right, guys. <sighs> yeah i don't have anything else um i always end with advice I, I hope this was helpful i know this is a very long and detailed in-depth reading and i feel like i wanted to give this to you guys so yeah comment below i'm gonna leave the comments open um i always leave them open for the collective reads and um yeah i want to know i want to hear what you have to say um positive please be nice be nice um and uh good luck and love i'm i'm wishing you the best i praying for your happiness 
even if it's with this person or not. I pray, I'm praying for your healing. I'm seeing you guys all beautiful, positive vibes, okay? And, you know, giving you guys big old uh, virtual hugs. And I appreciate you guys for viewing the video, sticking around and for this whole hour. <laughs> and um, if you can like the video, subscribe to the channel, share the video, comment below, all that good stuff. And um, I will talk to you guys next time. Mwah. Peace.